Hello, shiny tubers, and welcome to a new Let's Play with me, Blue Ankylo. We are playing our very first Sega CD game on my channel, which is interesting because the Sega CD is one of those attachments to a console that no one could ever afford, so I never got to play this as a kid. We'll talk more about that once we get through the introduction. It's a fully voiced introduction! Sonic. So let's just sit back and enjoy, and then I'll chat about the game for a minute. A fierce battle with Dark Dragon ensued when the Runefaust army invaded. Not quite the Fire Nation. Up close. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Forest, Dark Dragon was defeated. Nobody has eyes. They look kind of evil there, to be honest. Are we the bad guys? The victors return to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. Some disappeared. Some left for further adventure. And some return to their homes and families. But not Max. And Anne Re returned to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. Yay! I feel like I'm watching a 90s cartoon. The story begins 20 years after. Well, boy, guys, I hope you enjoyed that fully voiced introduction. So we are playing, in case you haven't gathered, Shining Force CD which is, of course, for the... Wow, well, there's so many names for this thing, it's complicated. But, uh, it's the Shining Force CD attachment to the Sega Genesis. And, um... Yeah! Anyway, we're having a hard time pausing everything here for a second. It's gonna keep cycling like that. Um, anyway, I never played this game as a kid. This is technically a remake of the Shining Force Gaiden game, and eventually Gaiden 2, which is sort of Haya or something like that, which were both originally Sega Game Gear games. And if anyone knows anything about the Game Gear, it was trash. So I didn't have one as a kid. I had a, a Game Boy. I was the Game Boy. The Game Gear kids basically could never play their Game Gears because the batteries never lasted more than five minutes. So um, I never got to play Shining Force Gaiden. I looked into it you know, as an adult later on, but I just couldn't get into the graphics and kind of old schooly Game Gear style. It, it was like Shining Force 1 and 2 a little bit, but uh, I just couldn't quite get into the, um... well, it's, it's you know, handheld 8 bits. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But then, just recently, just like, I'm behind the times, I just found out that, hey, there was a remake for Shining Force Gaiden and Gaiden 2. And it was on the Shining Force CD, which basically plays the game in the Shining Force 2 engine. Uh, although it's not exactly the same as Shining Force 2. There's some, some things are more like Shining Force 1, but uh, generally the quality of life improvements are included. Um, without anything else to say about it, I haven't played this game before. So I actually am playing this pretty much blind. Not 100% blind, but pretty close. And uh, with, without any more chit-chat, let's, let's just get started here. Now that I've cycled the intro screen 20 times. So, you're interested in the legends of the Shining Force. It is 20 years later. So it's it's uh, after Shining Force 1 by 20 years. But a long time before Shining two, Force 2 still. To waken Queen Anri. Ru, Rug, we'll call him Rug. There's kind of a thing, just, just just to forewarn people, some of the names in this translation are different than in Shining Force 1. 
So you might have noticed Lug. I believe Lug was the original Japanese intended name for, for Lo or Luke. Probably Luke. Lo is Lo. Luke is Lug. So, you know, there's going to be some names that are going to be a little bit hard to keep track of, but we'll try to figure it out as we go. So Rug <coughs> went on an expedition with his force. Wow, what happened next? You're here for a Shining Force book. So Shining Force CD, just to catch you up if you've never played it or heard of it, just like me, there are four books. Book one is Shining Force Gaiden. Book two is Gaiden 2. And they are like sequentially in order. So that's like Shining Force 1, then Sh Shining Force Gaiden, then Shining Force Gaiden 2 all happen sort of in sequence. So that's cool. And then Gaiden 3 and 4, or sorry, Book 3 and 4 were not remakes of the Game Gear games. They are new for this version. And I think they're more like expansion packs. And we will see if we like them. I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews of how fun they are. But, you know, we'll see how we do when we get there. It's kind of like um, Shining Force 3 CD3 had like a extra trial mode at the end of it that I never really liked because has reasons, but I think it's sort of like that. But anyway, in case you're wondering, this is a normal Shining Force game. This is not like the newer Shining Soul or Shining Tear or whatever. It's a old school Camelot before they were Camelot working at Sega Games. So if you are if you like the art style for Shining Force 1 and 2, this is exactly that kind of game. So we're starting, uh, we're just starting from scratch here as far as I know. We're, we don't have any save files. I'm pretty sure the first one is book one. Towards the root of evil. And then maybe there's going to be an evil god. You know, I mean, it is Shining Force. You know the drill. Alright. Here it is! What's the hero's name in this tale? Uh, I believe his default name is Nick, if I remember correctly. But you know me. We're blue. And uh, I will have no one argue against the blueness of our character. He does look a little bit young, but so did Bowie and Max, especially Bowie. So we'll see what happens when he gets class changed and looks all adult-ish or teenager at least. We'll see. Blue, cool name. What difficulty? Well, <laughs> I mean, I've never played it before, but I was pretty good at Shining Force. I mean... I mean, I played a lot of Fire Emblem and, and and stuff that's harder than Shining Force, and I don't know if it's a babby game. Should I just go super hard? I didn't even think about this until just now. I don't even know exactly what the settings do. It, it could just give them, like, double strength. Let's just play it on hard. You know, I don't want to be a, a, a wuss. <laughs> but I don't know how bad super hard is. It, it could just be get basically 200% stats for everybody. All the enemies, and that would suck, so we'll just go with hard. <laughs> you must be quite brave. Go for it! Now, let's enjoy the story together. In Shining Force 2, the difficulties mostly affected, well, enemy attack power? <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, Queen Henri! Messages from Cyprus have arrived at our gates. What? What do they want with us? Your Majesty, they are barbarians. They bring only trouble. Shouts in the class of ar clash of armor code from the palace gates should be weapons, really, right? Wait here until you are summoned. Now I've waited long enough. Come on, let's go see Queen Henri. I invoke the bolt spell level three. Uh oh, some high level magic, guys. Well, they uh, didn't rest up at the end, clearly. <laughs> Idiots! Now that they're out of the way, where's the queen? Halt in the name of the queen. Ken bravely stepped forward to guard his queen. How rude. In Cyprus, we have a much different idea of courtesy. Allow me to demonstrate. Dantum, Frabel. You think you're a match for me, old man? Let's find out. <laughs> you guardian of wimps will grovel before the forces of Cyprus. Ken, low enough. All oh, right, that's Anri. She should be like majestic. Good sir, 
Please pardon my knight's rudeness. She's looking all grown up now. She was my favorite back in, in Shining Forest 1. I am Henri, Queen of Guardiana. What is your message? Your apology is accepted. I am Waldo, a lord of Cyprus. Can you find me? Our king, Edmund the Reluctant, sends this. A token of friendship. As Andre opened the small jewel box, a ring of bombs destroyed her village and her mother. Or a black fog engulfed her. Oh no, it's just like Shining Force 2! Queen Henry, someone get a hero now! Wait, am I a hero healer? Isn't isn't that low? He's supposed to be the healer, right? A mere healer will not help your queen. Queen Henry rests in an eternal sleep. Only King Edmund can awaken her. As long as you obey us, we will let her live. <laughs> Smoke bomb. Wait for it. Okay, there you go. With those words, Waldo disappeared in a smoke bomb. Guardiana sent its best warriors to Cyprus to kill Edmund and save their beloved. Because only King Edmund can remove the curse. So if we kill him, right? That's how it works. The army sailed away and was not seen again. Ah, guess we're going to have to send the kids. <laughs> oh, it's been over a month since our forces left for Cyprus. We haven't heard a word. Oh, they were our best and bravest warriors. And extremely expendable. If they've lost, maybe Guardiana is lost too. All it took was one bolt three to lose half our forces. I told them to spread out. <sighs> then we'll have to obey the barbarians. There's no one else to send. Yeah, Ken, you're retired. Uh, uh, wait, wait, sir. Excuse me, excuse me. Hello? We've decided uh, to go after the Lost Warriors. Uh, is that you, Bruce? Son of Luke? And what do you mean by we? Uh, watch this! Bruce whistles. Poorly. Hey, look! A bunch of kids! Shade! That was your father, Hans. Clearly, you inherited his terrible archery ability. Oh, he's fine. He wanted me to come because you'll need an archer. <laughs> yeah, that's a good joke. And who's that big monk? He looks like old Gong. Uh, Gong is my uncle. He told me of your bravery. He taught me everything I know. My name's Sig. Not Sig Hale. And here's Wendy? Are you going too? Of course! You don't think I'd miss out on all the adventure, do you? It's okay, she'll probably be a fire mage. She'll be alright. Apis, my son! It's a horse, though. My calf. <laughs> you, you are not going. It is much too dangerous. All the adults got killed. Please, father. You know I can handle up Lance. And Queen Anri needs us. And you want to save Luke? Your, your father? Right? Well, Alright, I guess I won't stop you. Not like I can. You're too quick for me. Old. Bruce, who is this stranger you've brought with you? Uh, Ken! <coughs> I am honored to introduce our leader. He's not from Guardiana, but he helped us plan our grand adventure. Uh, something about your eyes. You remind me of my old friend, Max. No relation. No, those days are behind you now. We are the new Shining Force. Six brave children and blue will guide us on our way. This random boy we met out playing with our sticks. We are ready to follow him to Cyprus. Uh, with your consent, of course. Well, they're old enough. It's not like we have any other choice. The barbarians will probably just kill them anyway. Now I've decided to go with them. 
and help save Queen Andra. And thus, Blue and the Shining Force, part 1.1, sailed for Cyprus. They didn't know danger lay in wait for them just beyond the horizon. They did so know. They know this whole thing is dangerous. Don't you 90s cartoon me. Sega. They know exactly what they're getting into. Actually, I mean, they're kids. They don't know nothing. But obviously, they're going to be fighting, right? So chapter one. One week later. On the high seas between Guardiana and Cyprus. Ah, not much of an adventure so far, eh, Aethys? It's pretty quiet, all right. I don't know who's supposed to be a girl or boy yet. Hey, where'd that glowing ball come from? Oh no, better hope it's not Blaze too, or you're all dead. I mean, ships are just doomed in this series. Have we ever been on a boat that didn't sink? I'm not actually sure we ever have been. Someone went into all that work to draw that boat, and now we're just going to burn it down. So this is the great shining force that will save Guardiana? Won't Waldo be scared when I tell him? Why, you're just a bunch of kids. And you're an old man with uh, a bunch of monsters. Sure, yeah, yeah. Don't underestimate them, wizard. It might be the last... Why is he helping? You're supposed to be our helper. What do they call him? The, uh, the advisor? You're our advisor. Don't advise the enemy, Lo. Man, no wonder no one likes Lo. It's almost as bad as Hans. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first battle. I see a lot of huge bats. I bet you they'll poison us or put us to sleep or something. Alright, let me get my controls set up here. So we can uh, move around. Now, there is a way to speed this up a little bit so we can, like, look at stuff quicker. I think we have- there's some things we have to do to do that. I- yeah, here we go. Speed that up a little bit. We want to see the battle messages. That should help a little bit. There, but there is, like, a turbo setting I've heard about. Hey, we got maps. That's good. What else have we got? Let's have a quick look at our characters. Just, you know, seeing as we just got them. Looks like everybody gets a protect ring and two herbs and some pretty good weapons like steel sword, battle axe, steel arrow. Those were all uh, tier three or four weapons, I think. So yeah, we got pretty good attack power right off the bat. Isn't that great? And uh, we can see some spells and stats. So we got blue with the egress spell to run away. We got Roos with all the attack power. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of warriors typically, but we'll see. We got an archer. I mean, every archer I've seen in the Shining Force series has been trashed, so we'll see. You can tell he's the best because his attack power is 11 less than our warrior. Sig! Our, uh, our monk! I mean, I guess he's the only healer we got for now, so just think of him as our healer that can heal you twice. I don't like monks very much. Wendy! Fire magic, of course. Of course fire magic. Still, what may just tend to be good. And Apis! We'll see how Apis does. I'm generally a fan of knights. Lots of mobility, high movement, pretty nice. Alright, so that's all our characters. Uh, we got protect rings and pretty good weapons. I don't think this will be too bad. And can we see the enemy stats? So we got an incubus with fire magic. We got a bat. Fairly low stats. Mostly bats. And a dark mage with blaze 2. Boy, AoE. Area of effect magic. Alright, well, let's just get to it. I, uh, I guess it's not like Fire Emblem. We can't, uh, see the enemy's movement range right off the bat. How do we do that? I guess we can't do that in this game. I always forget. Anyway, let's just move down. We'll just play it like OG Shining Force Strats. It's fine. Keep the, the archers in the back. Keep the healers safe. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I haven't played this game before. I assume the uh, combat AI will be similar to Shining Force 1 and 2, where they love to charge at you like this and go after your uh, your weakest character or your hero first. So, you know, 
I'm glad they split their attack up, because they might have been able to kill the same person. Well, no, we got lots of physical defense. It'll be the magic that'll be the big problem here, certainly. Okay, so, let's get that heal magic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, back up. Just make sure my bat's right. It's, uh, it's Roost that took all the damage. I will put Sig in the way just to heal him up, I guess. It's kind of blocking my, my route to the bat. But I feel like 3 HP is low enough that I'm a little bit scared. And we have a couple ranged attacks, so hopefully we can kill the bat or something. Also, does this guy have... Yeah, this guy can cast Blaze twice. So optimally, we want to kill the Incubus first. And the bat didn't seem to do very much. Now, Apis does have range 2 weapon. So Power Spear, range 2. Pretty awesome, right? Right? So we'll try to take the Incubus down first. Maybe we can stop his Blaze. Oh man, I love these old school Shining Force graphics. I'm really glad I found this game. Just, you know, 20 or 30 years late. Probably 25 years late. I don't know. And then Wendy. Well, she could probably just go up here. And just burn this guy to the ground. Uh, Blaze should do around 6 damage if I remember correctly. 7 points of damage. Got a little bit of XP and some gold. Oh yeah, I did remember hearing. There's one thing you're supposed to do in this game that's a little bit different than Shining Force 1 and 2. So enemies, because this was a Game Gear game, there's less like town exploration than we had in Shining Force 2, for instance. So enemies will carry more gear around than normal. So when you kill them, they may drop things and you need to be able to pick them up, you know, when you kill them. So, whoever kills an enemy with an item you want to get, you got to make sure you've got a, a, a inventory spot available. I don't think that's going to matter too much for this fight, but um, something to keep in mind for later. I'll be checking enemies for, you know, inventory. Alright, blue is looking pretty sturdy there. I like that. Do I even use shade? We'll have to give him a try, I guess. If he misses, though, he's just benched instantly. Or she, I don't know. Alright, six damage. Ranged attack. If you're unfamiliar, uh, archers will have range two attacks, but not range one for adjacent. So an archer can shoot two points away, but not adjacent. And then eventually they'll be able to shoot three with better bows after they're promoted. Whereas the knight with a spear can shoot one or two spots away, which is very, very nice. Alright, so we'll move Roos up again. Maybe try to keep him away from the blaze. I bet you Blaze 2 could one-shot him, so, you know, keep that in mind. Should try to lure some of those knights out, or not knights, some of those bats out. Let's see if we can get a bat to go after uh, Apis down here. The only thing that's going to hurt will be the blaze off of this guy. So he's got six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add two for Blaze, gets him to here. So technically we can make a little bit of a diagonal line here if we want. We'll keep our healer a little bit further back. We'll keep uh, Roos over here. And you know, we're just, we're fine, right? Like this shouldn't be that bad. The thing is, I'm just trying to be careful because you know, we're playing on hard, right? All right, so as usual, the AI does prioritize if they can attack something, they probably will. Sleep attack? They got sleep touch, man. How rude. It's like mummies in Final Fantasy 1. Just touch you and you go to sleep. Now, uh, I'm a little bit scared about that uh, Incubus killing Roost, but Blaze 1 shouldn't be enough. So, uh, as long as I don't leave anybody below... Ooh, ooh! Big smash by Roost there. Alright. I like that. I do like that. So yeah, just don't put anyone in risk of one shot near that guy. We'll be okay. It's not the AOE blaze. The uh, the boss has the AOE. All right, blue is just snoozing on the job. So yeah, optimally we'll try to lure as many bats and stuff away from the boss as we can. Also, the incubus, who has an amazing sprite by the way, um, <laughs> just in case you didn't notice, his uh, battle art looks great. Uh, he didn't, he didn't actually cast any magic. 
I'm kind of interested in if he gets uh, magic defense because he uses fire. He could be resistant to fire. Does not appear to be. In the future, though, I would expect uh, fire monsters to take less damage from fire magic. All right, Shade. Let's try not to throw any. Yeah. This is Archers, man. It's not very good at the whole dealing damage. All right, Blue finally wakes up, but doesn't get a turn. I think Ken... I mean, not Ken. I mean, uh, Apis. Clearly, the Ken of this game. You definitely throw some spears around. Look at that. Same range as our Archer. Double the damage. Way more HP. Better defense. It's just, like, it's just not even comparable. Alright, we got one more heal available here. I guess we'll save it for now. And I do have all those medical herbs. Like, they're pretty generous with the herbage. Gotta get these bats to get out on us. Huge bat attacks! Apis takes one point of damage. All right, Wendy's got two more blazes in in the in the uh, in the gun. Also, there is like land effect and stuff. We'll talk about that later on. It should be the same as the old games. Less movement, more uh, defense. Unless you fly, flyers don't get any land effect. You can see when the enemy is flying around, they get zero percent. So, Apis sleeping on the job. Alright. Blue has enough HP for the moment. We might heal him up, though, in a minute. Try to get these two bats killed. There is a chance for critical hits and double attacks and counterattacks and all that fun stuff. Um, I have no idea. I should have attacked the other bat, because I think Shade will do five damage. Oh, we got a six with a crit! Seven points of damage. Okay, I got lucky there. I should have just killed off the other one, though. Shade is the first one to level 2. He gets one point of attack? Was that what I saw? You want to see more than one point of attack, though. I can tell you that much. I mean, I have no idea if this game scales the same as the old games. I just assume it does. And you definitely want to see twos, not ones. Although, in the Archers in Shining Force 1 traditionally got zero attack up, and that was what really made me mad. That's what Hans was doing. Alright. We got two bats, we got a mage. We got our mage. We got some people sleeping on the job. Okay, you're awake. I want... Like, the most dangerous part here is making sure that the, uh, the wizard dude, the dark mage, doesn't get to blaze to our whole group and do, uh, probably eight or nine damage to everyone in, in adjacent to each other. So, um, five movement. One, two, three, four, five. AoE two means he can hit down to here. And if someone's standing there and here, that's as far as his range goes. So, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna go this way instead. Alright, we, we de definitely wanted everyone to wake up as well. Alright, we got both our heals off of Sig. I have a feeling I won't be keeping Sig for very long once we get a real healer, but, you know, maybe he'll be awesome. He's got a, a cool stick, right? Alright, those bats aren't uh, taking the bait here. One, two, three, four, five, range two, okay. I'm just gonna try to lure those bats down before we uh, get into too much trouble. Just grouping everybody up. The bats don't get any kind of AoE, so that should be fine, right? What did I say here? Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're making kind of a, a little diagonal slope just so the boss can't do anything. And then the bats come at us. Now, as we kill the bats, we just have to make sure no one's going to get killed by the boss. Getting put to sleep does not help my situation, but... Uh... All right, so the boss now is going to be in range. One, two, three, four, five. No matter what, the boss could blaze to our hero, and that's probably what he'll do. 
So we don't want to stand next to, uh, next to blue. Okay, Wendy can get a level up at least. She won't get a kill, but uh, a level up. I'd like, you know, everyone to get to level two on the first battle. That's, that's reasonable. Alright, some HP, some MP, attack, defense, and some quickness even. Why not? And then, uh, shade. So we're gonna actually shoot the other bat, just because he's in range. If we can kill both bats right now, that would probably be ideal. And then between Apis and... Well, I wonder how, how much damage Sig can do. We could probably do the math. Uh, 18 attack power, minus 12 defense. Should be averaging 6, if I understand the math. It's not very complicated. Now, it probably has some random variation, but clearly that worked. Alright, and then Apis... Could block uh, our hero, actually. Because then the mage won't be able to stand over there and burn... Uh, Blue down. Alright, Apis getting level 2. 1 HP, 2 attack, 1 defense. So much better than my archers. So much better. And then Roos, I think we want to keep back from the mage for now. So, worst case scenario, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. So we got to keep him. We can actually put him here now, but that's as close as we can get. And he didn't even attack us, you fool! You fool, you're dead now, man. Now, I wonder if he can drop his staff. Probably not, probably not. Alright, Apis, you're up. Actually, between Apis and Shade, we mm, probably won't be able to kill him. We could block him in. You know, you could put two units adjacent so he can't get out of there, but we'll see how I feel. Now, I am really hoping that uh, Blaze 2 doesn't do 10 damage or something, but don't think it will. Hey, you never know. Maybe uh, suddenly all these archers are going to be awesome today. <laughs> Three damage. Yep, that's about right. Good job, Shade. That's, that's what you do. Now, I still kind of don't want to use Roos here. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So that's as far up as he can go, is about to here. I'm pretty sure Blaze 2 will just kill him, so he can't really help. I mean, I'd like to get him a level up. He's got one XP to go. Uh, actually, I wonder... This should give him one experience, or maybe five even. Right? One experience. That's all he needed. Two HP, one attack, one quickness. There's the blaze too. Here you guys go. The big show. Ah, uh, well that sucks. I thought it would limit itself to like seven to nine damage. It can do ten. Well, now you know. Not like I had a lot of choices there. I guess I could have healed up. All right, Wendy, you're not very good at physical. This is, this is good. Everyone's gonna die because I can't. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. She's gonna do like three damage. <laughs> the dark mage knew who to focus down. The one person that can deal damage and wasn't asleep. All right, but then Sig, Sig comes in to save the day. Sig's like, yeah, I got this, bro. Three damage. I'm as good as the archer, and I can heal people. HP 1, MP 1, attack 1, defense 1, quick 1. Pretty 1-y. Alright. You may be fine warriors, but you will never see the shores of Cyprus. Join me now in death. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, he's gone, and he took out half the hull with him. Everybody overboard! Swim for that island over there! I told you this boat wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> what am I doing? Just looking around? Did we forget about somebody? <laughs> and we're all dead. We just jumped into the ocean. Blue! 
C come on, Blue, snap out of it. I think he'd worry about his own kids before us. Look, everyone, he's okay. We've lost all our supplies and weapons, but we survived somehow. Those steel weapons you had probably sank to the bottom of the sea. Hope we don't run into any Cypress soldiers. Stop! Let me go! Uh oh, we're gonna have to end the episode around now. You're too pretty to stay here in Miniom Wilderness. I think I'll take you back to Cyprus with me. No, I'd rather die! Well, that could be arranged. Stop right there, Cyprus pigs! Please get me out of here! Hey, she did pretty good. And then tripped. I mean, she punched a couple goblins and then tripped on her toes. This is none of your business, stranger. Leave before you get hurt. Arm yourselves, everyone. Search the ground. Use the rocks, the sticks, anything. Yeah, we're all dead. All right, well, we're going to end the episode because, uh... Well, actually, what would happen? I mean, I'm kind of upset that I don't have Apis here. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you cast, uh, Egress. Because usually you can go revive people between battles if you really want. Whatever, we'll deal with it next episode. Who needs, who needs our knight? First death, you know, he's gone forever. Killed by Blaze 2 at low levels. Classic. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the second battle. Have a great day.